Namaste beautiful yogis. Today I am doing an updated skincare regimen regime. I have a few new things that I've discovered since I up uploaded a video about skincare and one in particular of them I'm really eager to share so that's the only reason why I'm making this video is I'm going to probably retouch on some of my some of my favorite products and um, there is something new that I can't wait to share. So um, I actually uh, went in my bathroom and I put everything in one of the Yogi Surprise boxes. So even though I have a lot of things that kind of fit in here and we're talking all the cosmetics. I um, do have a lot of things at a time because I shop only once or twice or three times a year. Um, on average uh, for clothes and cosmetics and such things so I kind of tend to overbuy and then I use them for a while and then I overbuy again so I do have a lot at a time uh, now I will just kind of summarize what I've mentioned in my previous videos on skincare is um, that I didn't do much of any skincare in my 20s and early 30s and um, I did see the results of it thank God for a Somewhat, of, I would say my diet is good, not perfect, but good. Uh, so from my diet, I probably had some skin protection from the high antioxidant content of my diet and so forth. But overall, I saw aging in my skin and sun damage in my skin just because I live in LA. And I'm not a native to a subtropical climate. So my skin is not uh, used to that much um, sun exposure. So trying to make a difference in my skin I started using certain things and I only stuck with the things that I see that work and that's what I'm sharing with you most of my things are very natural um, I used to only use oils and completely uh, essential oils that are completely 100% natural but now I have a love for serums that are natural they have low toxicity but they are uh, from the skincare industry still naturally derived ingredients uh, but we're talking not the uh, absolute hippie stuff right it's kind of uh, in the natural skincare department and which is also exciting because a lot of these serums have just the active ingredients in a moisturizer concentrated in a serum and um, that gives your skin concentrated nutrients and benefits and it does show without the oils and the fillers so that's why uh, you will see a lot of serums coming up now i will start with my nails i don't like per se long nails on me but they grow so fast that before i cut them i figured i'm gonna have long nails for a day and i will color them for this video i only color my toes and I did get uh, a watercolor uh, because of my pregnancy. I used to have mineral fusion nail polish. I love red for my toes, but I figured I'll change to just for my toes watercolor exception today. I'll feel a little <laughs> weird for me with uh, long red nails, <laughs> but I'll cut, I'll cut them in two days and that will be the one time I basically color them. So I will start with uh, my favorite company and we'll go down the line. So um, basically what I do is I usually have three to four serums and usually I go for the oil free serums because the uh, serums with oil always kind of sit on the surface of my skin. They don't absorb completely and the serums that are oil free they're just active ingredients active extracts of plants usually uh, vitamins uh, they just literally soak into your skin and they make quite a bit of they make a difference for sure so i'll uh, so uh, i will start with my um two favorite serums i'll gloss over them because i've mentioned them many times they're still my favorite um I think that might be the same one from my previous video, but they repackaged it. It's the Lumine Time Frames Instant Lift Serum. It's mostly natural. I did inquire a few years ago about vegan and it was vegan compliant, but basically the company said in one of email as an answer to is it vegan, that they are, but they don't have the certification because they choose not to or something in those lines, but they say, said that they're vegan. Um, 
and this is a new one I generally try anything Lumine because the products work it's a Finnish company and uh, this one is time freeze uh, again that's obviously my favorite line by theirs uh, usually they have seabuckthorn extract and uh, just arctic berries extracts in them and that's their active components plus however they create the formula it just soaks right in nothing stays on the surface of your skin and this one has little pearls that are real pretty in the sun if you take it out in the sun it glistens in golden and silver with golden and silver speckles uh, and they break up as they come out of the little uh, nozzle or whatever this is and those are beauty pearls it actually gives a little bit of spark in your skin nothing noticeable you're not gonna be glossy or golden uh, so those two are good I would say they're equally good I would still think this is my favorite serum and if they don't discontinue it or don't ruin the formula I'll continue buying it and we'll add it to anything else even if I find new amazing products I'll probably continue adding this to everything so that goes usually um, under my uh, moisturizer now the new discovery that I'm talking about is uh, something um, that I've always loved essential oils I've always had a big collection of herbs and essential oils but since I uh, became pregnant, yes, if, if you've missed the news, uh, I am pregnant. I've developed an amazing <laughs> attraction to roses. Uh, I've always been the type of person that loves roses. And if I'm walking and there is a rose, I will stop and smell it no matter what. I will risk my life. <laughs> Maybe the owner of the rose will like come out from the house thinking I'm going to be picking the roses and... <laughs> and chase me out it hasn't happened but <laughs> I, will, I would go to smell a rose even if it's inappropriate because I can't resist roses something about roses uh, the, the smell of roses but since I became pregnant I almost feel a spiritual connection to them as if maybe I'm smelling different um, nuances of the plant I'm not sure but to me, it's, I was saying to my partner, I think I understand roses, like I get it. I get what the essence of the plant is, what the spiritual essence of the plant is. But I get it with no words, right? I'm just getting something new about roses. So I have, <laughs> I've actually deepened my obsession with roses. So I got essential oils from... Um, uh, oh, now speaking of roses, I am originally from Bulgaria. I grew up in Bulgaria and moved out of Bulgaria when I was 22. So I'm very, uh, Bulgaria, one of the most important um, Im exports uh, for Bulgaria is rose oil. It is one of the most potent, uh, high quality rose oils in the world. It is one of the most expensive oils in the world more expensive growing up everybody used to say it's more expensive than gold i'm sure it's way more expensive than gold now and um i will insert the person that carries the clean rose oil in the states and you have to be very careful with essential oils a lot of the essential oils on the market including a lot of the french rose oil are extracted only for uh, perfumery reasons so they don't have therapeutic effects you're not going to get any of the spiritual emotional uh, balancing effects of the plant you will just get the good smell because they're using solvents once you use a solvent the plant is really delicate and the uh, aromatics of the plant where a lot of the healing is are very very delicate once you use solvents the the uh, product loses its qualities in the healing world but it becomes good for the perfumery because once you use solvents you can extract probably three four times more oil than if you do it the old school way now bulgaria grows organic roses and it's still extracting it in the way that it's been extracted for thousands of years they're using old methods of extraction so it still has those healing properties when you get the rose oil uh, you're going to get 2 milliliters, 2.3 milliliters of oil, which is tiny, tiny amount, but 
in that bottle of 2.3 milliliters of oil, there are 6,000 rose petals, whole rose petals that went into it. So you can imagine how powerful this little bottle is. And how you will use it is um, basically, and also it is expensive and that's why you're buying so little because it's around $50, just under $50 for something so little, but you will stretch it out uh, for, and you'll use it for two years all over your body and it's good for babies, for spritz, for diffusion and so forth. So you will get um, rose hip oil. I have rose hip oil here. Uh, by Spa Nouveau or uh, this is just a very cool oil with all kinds of oils in it, apricot, seed oil, almond oil, all the vitamin C oils, raspberry oil, argan oil, etc. It's a really big combination of oils and vitamin C by Avalon Organics and you can drop it either in this, just drop a little bit of the rose oil in an ounce size oil uh, or you carrier or just simple ro uh, rose hip oil. You can drop it in just rose hip oil and that will be your rose oil for use. If your skin is very uh, delicate, you use even more oil as your base. And what I've been doing is you get your oil. I try to make it as concentrated as I can, the rose oil. And bef when you wash your face, before you put anything, anything on your face, you will get your rose oil as potent as you can, just one drop, and you will put it on your skin and your, it will soak right in, into your skin. Now rose oil will make your skin uh, open to other things to penetrate it, so use after that clean products, other oils, uh, organic products, organic creams and so forth, because your skin will penetrate, will absorb more. And what it does is rose oil has a lot of properties. You know that roses are considered one of the most beautiful flowers. So it already implies beauty. It will beautify your skin, but it's also one of the most antibacterial oils out there. And just in 10 minutes, it is proven in studies that it will kill all the acne causing bacteria. So actually it will help with acne Obviously, with acne, always diet is the most important, uh, but we're talking skincare today. It will really have an antibacterial effect on your skin. It will, the reason why I'm using it, yes, the, be the beauty aspect of it, who doesn't want more glowing, rose looking skin, of course. But for me, it's, I wanted to do something that I will do twice a day, morning and night, and I will have the aroma therapy effect of it because I'm smelling it and also through the skin it is going in my system and, is affecting, and it is affecting my emotions. Um, I was reading just before I did this video, started recording this video, that, that they did a study on rose oil for postpartum women that suffer from depression and it had a very significant effect on postpartum depression. So maybe on a... On an intuitive level, I know to start preparing for the postpartum possible depression and I started getting attracted to roses and rose oil. Like I couldn't get it out of my head. I have to get rose oil. I have to get rose oil because I have some rose oil products. I'll show you. But I didn't quite have the rose oil. Uh, so I have rose water in a little tourist bottle. It smells very <laughs> like my grandma. And I have, uh, I, I, I've had rose water always. I will put it in a spritz bottle so that I can use it as a toner. Organic Bulgarian rose water. And it's Rose Otto, by the way. And um, you can also uh, use it uh, one or two drops in carrier for uh, oil oiling your hair before showering and that way it will infuse into your scalp again it will stimulate your hair growth and it will remove probably certain dandruff and stuff like this because it's antibacterial but mostly it will affect your emotions it is an aphrodisiac it is a mood lifter it is an antidepressant and 
also it's known to have a lot of beauty benefits for uh, anti-aging wrinkles skin in general skin glow skin texture and so forth so that that has been that was the thing the reason why i made this video <laughs> you don't have to click off from here on because i still have a few cool things but that was the main reason for making this video is just to talk about my rose obsession and then after rose I will link both of them below from uh, from um, the Bulgarian source for organic rose. After that, lavender, of course. Lavender is good for many things. Uh, anxiety, rose is also for uh, anxiety. It is good for, um, again, oiling your skin. It will calm your emotions down while you're oiling your hair. Uh, but it, uh, putting a few drops of lavender would be really beneficial to also your emotions, not just your uh, hair. It's also helpful for hair growth. And uh, you can use it on your feet for athlete's food, for nail fungus. Uh, you can use it on your tummy. You can use it for uh, massage and so forth. So those are the two that I've been uh, mad about. I still love uh, frankincense, jasmine. Uh, Elang Elang, all these essential oils, but rose is my new addition. I don't know why I've never added rose oil. Pure, maybe because of the price. I never added it to my routine, but I figured, well, this is going to last me a year and it will have this amazing benefits that I'm already feeling. Uh, so from here on, I already mentioned the Lumin um, serums. I have two or three more serums I put two or three in the morning one or two at night before my night cream and that's it it takes me about one minute after I wash my face to apply everything because there is no fuss in the serums they just absorb and I layer them I don't wait for one to absorb then the other I just put everything on and then move on I have uh, probably the camera will not pick this up but it's the Cebu um, sea berry therapy it's a, a Cosmetic line based on C. Buckthorn, pretty good. I've had this before. This is a brand new bottle that I've been using for a couple of days. I can't say it's out of this world. It's an out of this world serum. It's just a solid good serum uh, with very with enough antioxidants in it for problematic rescue for problematic skin. I have, um, by the way, normal skin. My skin is not sensitive. I'm sure just due to diet and. Um, it's not dry or not oily, so I basically try to put things that are high in antioxidants on it so that it's protecting it from the sun and from the environment and so forth. Uh, I have been using this as um, uh, one more serum before I continue, EB5, uh, collagen building serum, again, just a good serum, has good, uh, uh, it does have really good uh, reviews on Amazon. I'll try to list everything below. Hopefully I won't forget anything. If I do, ask me and I will list it. Brighton, Swinted Antioxidants, Green Tea Extract, and Matrix Seal, uh, which is for aging too. And I have been using uh, for two, three months now. I want to say two, three months and it's still not completely empty. Andalou naturals beauty balm bb cream now that's my first bb cream that i have been able to use i do not like to put any color on my face i'm not wearing it right now by the way but i just don't like color on my face but this has been gorgeous after i got pregnant everybody kept saying oh ali you're glowing and i'm like are you sure i'm glowing or is it because i started using a bb cream huh I don't know. Uh, it is vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO. It's a solid company. It's a zinc oxide. Um, there's some protection in it. So I've been using this as a sunblock. Uh, it's the brightening one. So it's beauty balm, sheer tint, brightening. I started using it after I ran out of my Andalou. Uh, I had an Andalou that was um, just a clear... Um, clear SPF. Now this one is sheer tint. It is mildly tinted. Pretty good. I actually recommend it and that's the first product I've been able to recommend that has color in it. It does give you a little bit of, it's of cover. I, I want to say it gives you a little bit of 
just kind of a beautiful glowy color I wouldn't say it's some crazy coverage uh, it's a um, mineral tint color complements uh, most skin tones wear alone or under makeup I wore it alone uh, SPF 30 they have really good ingredients these companies because they're based on um, stem cell fruit stem cell uh, extracts so it has anti-aging anti effects too I've used over the years many of their products including shampoos it's a solid good organic company now I know that I'm gonna run out of it pretty soon because I've been using it so I uh, and I'm kind of wanting to intermittently have something that doesn't have color or much color to it so I got um, bare minerals again SPF 30 and it's with active soil complex it says ancient soil on it so I'm assuming it's kind of based on certain clays and I've used again this is an old it's an old friend of mine the bare minerals I used I have used through the years most of their makeup they're they're good solid company uh, so those are that's my sun protection and I'm just gonna run out of it this soon and switch to this one I may repurchase uh, the Andalou because as I said for someone that doesn't like colored tinted products it, it worked pre it worked very well um, and I've had this I've kind of tried a few of these products they are a vegan company they don't sell in China at all so they're kind of cool they're not super organic but they're natural no parabens and so forth never tested on people uh, on, not uh, tested on people not animals it says on the back uh, it's an English company dirty works and this is the radiance cream I actually sometimes put it over the tinted moisturizer I don't see much of a glow but it probably does make me a little bit more radiant um, and that is all for the day looks like a lot but I'm gonna have this for four or five months before I go shopping uh, again so I'll run out of all of it and for night same thing I have a few that I rotate because this is almost done so I, I this and this are almost done because I've had them for a while and I just rotate them uh, but this is again Lumine, my favorite company, sensitive touch, I still love it, it's a mask that you can use overnight. So it's almost like a super moisturizing uh, cream, it is a total comfort mask with arctic blueberry. So it's uh, for sensitive skin, it uh, minimizes skin irritation, redness, tightness, skin feels instantly comfortable. The reason why I like it is because it's really moisturizing and it's very gentle and this is Lumine's night cream you can't go wrong with those They're, the night creams are very 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 moisturizing they have oils in them to where the day serums don't so that's how I get the oil the products with the oils go on at night and still they're not oily to where I'm going to bed all oily I'm fine I look I don't look oily but they're definitely more moisturizing and again dirty works once I'm done with those two Lumine products which is going to be soon I have the overnight um, facial lift night cream uh, collagen on call so um, if you're in Europe I think it's easier for you to find this if I find it online I think it is online in America I'll list it below and uh, since I'm uh, sharing quickly all my, I'm trying to make this video uh, quick and informational and if you can get anything out of my experiences, I want to pack it quickly so that I'm not spending hours talking, but um, I bought a new palette. My last palette, which uh, is, uh, my last palette, uh, makeup palette uh, lasted me, I probably bought it five years ago and it's still not even a third or a quarter done so I figured I'm never gonna run out of this palette I'm better off getting a new palette now it is not the most natural palette in the world but they do not sell in China uh, and they are not vegan but they the reason why they're not vegan is because they may have beeswax but 
anyways I'm not promoting it now because I have a better one but that was my last one it's really beat up it's been in my purse for so long and it just looks completely destroyed and I'm just never gonna, gonna finish it I can't even show you the inside because it's that destroyed um, but I got a new palette and I'm super excited about it I'm actually wearing it now the colors I went with the dark palette from 100% pure because I'm darker but they do have mermaid color that's for blonde green eyed people I actually was talking to Laura uh, from uh, she's the admin on beautiful yogis and she got the mermaid I got this sexy kitten and I will show you the colors inside I'm pretty happy 100% pure is a epic company for the for vegans <laughs> because it's based on fruit and I've used them over the years quite a bit. They're pretty pricey and I definitely for my needs splurged on this. But um, they're not pricey, pricey like MAC or anything. But uh, I splurged but at the same time I will have this for a really long time. So there is a highlight for your cheeks. I did put a little bit of highlight. I probably won't use the blush, not a big blush person highlight for your eyes I actually didn't sleep a lot for the last few days because I've been biking at 5 in the morning at the beach so that I can get the sunrise so I use this basically I use uh, the highlight in the corner of my eyes then this for overall uh, color kind of like transition color and then this to line my lashes which is a little bit purplish so I do recommend it it took me years to change to a new palette but I'll probably be stuck with this forever <laughs> and i will just be using this just this every single day and uh, a few other oils that i got besides the beauty ones that the beauty and uplifting and uh, enlightening ones that i mentioned rose and lavender is um clary sage has i will list below actually i'll try to list below the effects of clary sage and uh, vetiver I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Vetiver is for kids that have ADD, for anybody that has, suffers from uh, mood shifts, uh, depressive moods. Same with Clary Sage. They're both uplifting. I am attracted to the very uplifting oils. Not sure why. It's a very intuitive thing for me right now as a pregnant woman. So I'm going with whatever I'm attracted to. Vetiver. Those are 5 milliliters oil, by the way. Um, vetiver would last me forever because it's a carrier oil it is very very thick and when you put it on your wrist uh, or mix it with other ones it makes the other ones last longer it's real thick and it smells pretty I would say strong for some people I'm loving essential oils I just can't get enough of them right now it doesn't matter how earthy they smell this one is very earthy. It just gives me um, like an ecstatic feeling. Uh, what else? I only prepared to show you uh, the other one that I've been using. I got this from TJ Maxx, but I think it is on Amazon and I'll list it below. Uh, really good. I have it the same one in this form and also in a glass jar and you just scoop a little bit from the jar and put on the uh, and you put it on your armpits uh, under your <laughs> armpits uh, really clean says certified vegan cruelty free based on arrowroot and coconut oil and shea butter and baking soda and jojoba himalayan salt juniper berries so the uh the aroma I went with or the scent I went with is cedarwood juniper they had different ones but I just as soon as I smelled it it has this cedarwood smell that's so it's almost like a really good men's deodorant like very natural and very woodsy like you're in the woods somewhere and so I bought it in in a glass jar and in a roller both the same scent <laughs> That's how much I liked it, uh, the cedarwood and the juniper. The other scents are also good. It's just maybe my pregnancy senses are very specific now about certain things. Um, 
I think this is it. Oh, I prepared one more thing to show you. This is almost done because that's how important it is. This is not cosmetics and not beauty, but I consider this to be an absolute must in your cabinet. Arnica gel. And you can buy if you're in Europe and don't have access to this, buy Arnica. But if you have access to this, this is better than just simple Arnica. It's the rub. I think it used to be my favorite trauma heal, trauma heal or something like that. They discontinued that, although I think you can still find it online. But now this one is the Arnica rub. Oh my goodness. If you stab a toe, if you um, twist your ankle, if you hurt your knees, hips, this thing does miracles. If actually I was walking the other day uh, and uh, Sophie has a friend staying over with us. My dog is Sophie. Her, and her friend is a little bigger. And I was holding her leash. And she met some friend. They met some of our doggy friends. And Lily, her do, uh, her friend uh, who I was holding, uh, started jumping and just jerked my shoulder so bad. I literally was so scared that I might have damage to my shoulder because she's a big dog. She's a big American Bulldog and she was having a lot of fun jumping around with the other dog. So I got home, rubbed this immediately and nothing. It's, um, it's for stiffness injuries, muscle pain, back pain, bruises, sprains. Really, I, I've always, I always have it on hand because those things are for um, chronic and for emergency. If you just stab your toe, you better have it on hand, N not run the next day to the store. Just have it on hand. It, it will not go bad. You will need it. Um, it has a combination of ar a different, co a different uh, strength arnica. Um, then it has other uh, homeopathic. It has other homeopathic um, uh, remedies like belladonna, calendulum, and uh, rudograph, and cer certain ones that are for bones, ligaments, joints, sprains, strains, pain, cuts, bruises, promotes healing, pain, inflammation, acute injuries, trauma, etc. Et As a yoga teacher, I should probably be, be the ambassador for <laughs> this, or we. I should be actually I should be listing it under every video just because anybody that's active that's running that's gardening uh, riding horses anything like that or just life in general cooking will need it so at some point for less serious or more serious things so I think I made a good point about this always have it I think um, I think Sprouts in California carries it. I think that's where I got this bottle and for sure it is online. So get it. Uh, get, uh, if you're in Europe and don't have access to it, just get regular Arnica because it can save your life. Um, and also if you have a really bad injury and you put this on, it will speed up the process of healing even if you do have a a very bad injury like a break or something like this it will still help speed up the process of healing or cut it in half or regardless of exactly I, I, I won't quantify how how much it will help but it will definitely help I'm a total fan of this this is everything I wanted basically to mention quickly in this video I know I use a lot of serums but as I said they will I will use them to the last drop all of them and then I will repurchase again three or four and use them um, if, uh, for rose oil I just wanted to <laughs> show you a few more things uh, basically it's for anxiety and you can use it in a diffuser with lavender oil to get the benefits of it it is uh, for balancing your hormones very good for the female hormonal system improves depression rosacea and increases libido those are not all the benefits but some of the benefits it has amazing benefits basically for your skin for your emotions and for your hormones so what else can we want <laughs> anyways uh thanks for joining me today if you have anything you want to share with me that you're using and you're mad about such as rose oil for me uh please share it in the comments below and i will add it to my routine uh for next time namaste